How about a visit to the IMT Gallery? My name's Mark Jackson. I'm the curator here at IMT Gallery in Bethnal Green. IMT Gallery started back in 2005 by a group of uh, curators and gallerists. And we were interested in putting together a space that put on the kinds of exhibitions that we weren't seeing in other spaces in London. And we were particularly interested in supporting artists who worked um, straight out of their degrees as well as artists who are more well-known, more established figures. One of the things we like to do in terms of the kinds of work we're showing is demonstrate the exciting breadth of practices that artists have. So we usually have about six exhibitions a year, sometimes a few more, sometimes a few less, depending on what we're doing. And alongside that, we also have a programme of talks, of performance artworks. So it's quite a, it's quite a varied, quite an eclectic uh, programme at the gallery. This exhibition that we've got on the moment is uh, by David Burroughs called What the Frog's Eyes No Longer Tell the Frog's Brain. And these works are a combination of tactile collage techniques, uh, cut out paper, cut out cardboard, uh, hand painted objects, at the same time as being very much a kind of post internet phenomenon. There's text and images that you'll be familiar with perhaps from spam emails on the World Wide Web. And Burroughs is really interested in the way that uh, image making and image presentation has changed since the internet. The idea that traditional art would have one very expensive painting accessible to a rich patron, for example, whereas images now become more powerful, become more accessible, the smaller, the low, lower in detail they are because they can fly over the internet, and how that might change our understanding of art. What makes us different from a lot of other galleries is that we can take more risks with artists that we think are interesting, uh, with the kinds of projects that might, uh, might not happen at other spaces. And uh, so the kind of th things you're coming to see when you come and see at IMT Gallery, the majority of them won't happen anywhere else. It'll be quite a unique experience for that. Sometimes the exhibitions we show are quite challenging, intellectually speaking, but uh, hopefully they're also presented in a way that makes them accessible and exciting. Because we're a gallery that shows a lot of new media, video work, for example, or net art, uh, we like to uh, engage with technology in, a, in terms of how we reach our audiences and also how we, how we present the shows, how we extend the shows beyond the bricks and mortar of the gallery here in Bethnal Green. So we're, we're quite an early adopter of uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook to reach new audiences and also to get people excited about the gallery who might not have even visited the space. Over the last few decades, the East End of London has become particularly well known for being uh, a space for art galleries. Artists started to find interesting studio spaces here, old warehouse spaces, things like that. And then the galleries started moving in to represent their work. And so you have, like, within a stone's throw, a number of different gallery spaces, different types of gallery spaces. And just down the road, obviously, the V&A Museum of Childhood, uh, the Whitechapel Gallery that operates a, a bus tour that frequently comes to visit us in the exhibitions we do. So it's a very kind of, I suppose, it's a very lively part of London in terms of exhibitions. Some of the exhibitions we've done in the past, uh, Malaysian artist Yak Bose Chong Boom Pok turned the gallery into a Malaysian style cafe. Or we had uh, the Polish composer Merek Holonievski transform the gallery into a gigantic light sensor so that when people moved through the space it created sounds and images. And one of the things that we've really tried to concentrate on is that this is a unique experience. It's a challenging experience perhaps for some arts visitors, but hopefully a unique and exciting one. Something where you leave the gallery knowing that your uh, interest in contemporary art has broadened, that the ideas presented have perhaps been challenged you in some way, but mainly that it can be an accessible and exciting experience for all who visit the gallery.